effect. So I know we we get a five percent effective franchise tax. But this is a question I asked two years ago, and I and I, I don't think I've ever really gotten an answer. But did that five percent really cover our costs? I mean, it'd be it'd be highly unlikely that they would hit five percent every time. And then, you know, I don't know that we've ever done a full accounting of all the of all the costs that are incurred by the utility. I mean, there's a lot of things that they effectively get for free. I mean, well, I thought the five percent was just like a was a franchise fee, but then I also thought that they and, and I'm not arguing whether this covers costs or not, but I also thought that just like with water and wastewater, that there were chargebacks to allocated charges for the overhead services, the HR and finance, that that's built into all of the budget outside of the general fund. Right? Let me clarify something. Okay. Okay. I, I've tried to answer before. I certainly didn't do it clearly. We have never, ever done a cost recovery study. I have of any kind. Right. I, I do not know how the... I actually did answer that before. Okay, that's good. That's I was like, well, that's 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 so, all right, let me but that's start what with Jordan, that premise. The Jordan study basically specifies that we should be doing that, well, I guess. I'm not getting into that discussion. That's yours, but yeah. I will say, no, I cannot tell you that we're recovering costs. I will tell you that, um, as it says in the later part of that paragraph, the city states how much, how does it word it? Shall establish payment. Shall establish payment. Okay, so that's, when, that's in the budget, and it's set out for a period of time, five years or so, and we have, they have adhered to what has been in the budget. We have, those funds have been transferred. It was not done on a cost recovery basis. It's some old formula that I don't even know how it was calculated because I can't find it now, but it's roughly 5% of revenues plus an amount for HR, finance, et cetera, but there is no documentation nor correlation to cost recovery. It is just an amount that's laid out there. there. franchise plus. But I thought, yeah, yeah so, so I think, so I just need to clarify in my mind, there's a franchise fee, which is part of their profit. That's the 5%. Um, and yeah. We would get that from KCP, yeah. anybody. And that's the then idea. there's the, the the separate part, which is the overhead cost for supporting. Okay, so so they're two separate. That's not included in the five percent. It is not. Okay. It, it is roughly that. Right. But and those and other chargebacks you're talking about, there is another component, and I and like I said, I have no. I can tell you right now, it probably doesn't recover costs. I can assuredly tell you it doesn't. The part that's coming from the electric fund to the general fund is five percent plus X. X meaning just some amount that's been laid out there. They are, we are transferring those funds. And then there is also the internal service funds, which are a chargeback based thing, just like they are to every other city department. But again, just in case, they have, it is absolutely not a cost recovery, period. How, how about the debt? How is the debt account? They pay for that. They pay for electric funds, pay for the electric debt. So that's just like the water fund pays for the water debt, the sure fund pays for the sure debt. So that's all being handled from the electric fund. And we covered that during the budget. That, that is, uh, it was shown right. in the electric budget. The electric director, I don't think, really covered that because I basically told him we've had a lot of mine. But it is merely because they can't get or into any debt without the city council. Right, right. The, the, the electric board has no authority to enter into a debt arrangement. Only, only you can do that. And that won't change unless it comes from legally separate entity or whatever. I mean, you can't give them that authority. That's what So that franchise fee could change plus or minus. I mean, we can make that whatever we do whatever you want. No, I understand. I'm just yeah. for the yeah. record. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, if, if KCPML was providing the electric to Gardner, the, the Kansas Corporations Committee Commission camps the amount of franchise fee that would be collected by. Right, so we have more leeway locally than we do. Yes, absolutely. Right. But but well, also council can lower it to zero percent. Right. Because it's all effectively paid as a tax on their bill anyway, on everybody's bill. So I mean 
have it. I don't think the, I don't think the franchise fee that we're talking about is reflected on a per end user. Not ours rate. because we don't we don't have an outside utility. But if we were buying it, every citizen had you know power given to them by a PCPL. No, absolutely. So that would be a line item on yeah, your bill. Right. Yeah. 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 We're not talking about case through cost though. I mean, it, mm -hmm. it's oh, it's a collection. It's like sales tax. It's collection. <laughs> somebody from the 